JBR129's workshop is here. Hey guys, Jaber here, and I'm here with a new video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my Terraria worlds that I've created. So it is called Jaber129's Workshop. It is basically a combination of the best worlds that I've ever released. Ones that I've collaborated on with Agnes and with Cole. I've made teleporters to go everywhere. And basically this video, I'm going to show you guys this. Now this world will be available when I release my app. It is called Terraria Manager, and I do plan on releasing it soon. So I'm going to go into the world. It's called Gabriel Tan's Workshop. Now it is... At first, it's Builder's Workshop. So, as you can see, this is Builder's Workshop. But I did modify a little bit. So, this is what it looks like from the outside. You can see there are some worlds like this one right here and this one right here that aren't necessarily ones that I have released, but ones that I found online. And I did credit them, of course. I'm not just stealing the world. This one's made by Sim. This one is made by... Myself and Agnes, this one was made by Cole, this one was a part of, um, I don't remember, this one was a part of something, this one is my 1.3 world with Agnes, this one's the same thing, this is by Pepsi, this one's by Agnes and I, this one is, I don't remember the name, this one's by Stranger, and this one's by Aaron. So basically, this is just a world where I have put them all together. Now, at first, this is Builder's Workshop. I did use... Uh, what's it called? T Edit to put all of these together. As you might not have known, T Edit now works for mobile because uh, the 1.3 world structure is the same as as it would be for PC. Since T Edit has a version that was made for 1.3, using that version allows you to modify worlds for mobile, and it works. And as you can see, it works um so yeah i'm just gonna go through the chests or the, the signs this is map put together by me j129 has some links uh same thing twice so i'm just gonna go through this this right here this takes you to moon tree i don't know the crater for it but this is where it goes to so throughout the map i've added these sort of things these are basically little hub things where you can teleport from so i'm going to go inside and this is called moon tree i found it on a chinese terraria forum a long time ago it's um i don't know the creator and honestly it's been such a long time since i've even been on this world i don't even remember so this is called moon tree i don't know what this is supposed to do right here um it is pretty cool i i like it I don't know who made it, but if you do know, uh, I guess comment down below and I'll gladly add credits to it because, like I said, I'm not stealing the world. If I know who did it, I will gladly credit them. Taking someone's world and not giving them credit would be pretty crappy of me and that's why I'm not doing that. So, uh, I don't know why these two teleporters don't work, I don't know. But this is called Moon Tree. Whoever made this did a pretty good job. Now I'm going to teleport back to home, and oh my god, my inventory is a mess. Where? There it is. Okay, so that was Moon Tree. I will keep track by looking at the, you know, ones I already put down. This one, that's Moon Tree already. This one is called... Yes, this one's the Happy Chinese New Year World that Agnes and I created. So, as you can see, this is the Chinese world, not the Chinese world, but the Chinese New Year world that we created a long time ago. So, as you can see, it, I copied it using T-Edit, and I have everything for it. Of course, I had to remove some of it, because some of it doesn't work. Uh, this right here will take you back to the teleporter, and this will take you back to here. And then this world will take you to Blocks by Aaron C. This is a very large world created by Aaron Craig, as you may not have known already. It is very well done. There's a lot of stuff here, so much that I won't be able to go through it all. But for the sake of showing off this world, I will go through the best parts of it, I would say, or my favorite. 
Um, so first, I'm going to go to the middle of the world, because, like I said, there is so much to show, and I might as well start at the beginning. Um, this is basically the original spawn point. Now, I've done videos showing off this world in the past. It is a very large world, and Aaron sure did a fine job at this. So I can go all the way down, and there will be teleporters, and this was, uh, I believe... A project by Aaron that took a long time for him to make. Now I am 99.9% .9 positive that there are more versions to this that he has that, as far as I know, are unreleased. Um, so yeah, the main the main hub of this world this world is one of my favorites by far. There's one other part that is also my favorite that I like because I'm biased and it has my name in it. But right over here. There will be... Let me zoom out. Can't really see. Um, let me find it. There it is. Jaybro. Yeah, I'm good friends with Aaron. And he uh, added my name. So, uh, yeah, kind of biased that this is one of my favorite parts, too. Uh, <laughs> don't blame me. Okay, let's go to the next world. All right. Let's see here. Let me go to that. Okay. This was Aaron's world. This was that was not Aaron's world. This one is the world by Stranger. Now, when one point two point four came out, there was a few hot worlds, and this was one of the ones that were mainly used, along with one of my old ones that is not included in this one because it's not very good looking. This world is called Strange, and it is. Pretty, pretty good. Now, I have a lot of other worlds that I've created, as long as, as well as ones that I've reviewed, but I've chosen the ones that are the best looking, as, and let me, uh, explain what I mean by that. The ones that are built the best. And this is just my opinion on the ones that are built the best. I might be biased and I might be missing some, but these are just my favorite of the ones that I have. Like, I have a folder on my computer where I've saved a bunch of worlds. So this one is called TMG World. Or, yeah, TMG World. And this world was created by a friend of mine named Pepsi. He also has a Discord server. I don't know if you can see it, but join it right here. Uh, this world is... Let me, yeah, there we go. This is called T TMMG World. That TMMG is the Discord name. And I like it. It's a castle. It has the his logo, the Pepsi apple. Uh, I think it's pretty freaking cool. I would rate it 8 out of 8 because it is great. Let us go back. Let's see, what is, which one is this? This one is, ah, uh, yes, my favorite because I'm biased. This one is... This one will take you to the world that Agnes and I created for 1.3. This world has never been shown off before. This world, I have shown a few photos every now and then on my Discord server. If you haven't already joined that, make sure to download j129.com slash Discord if you haven't already. Now, this one is my favorite because we created this back in 1.2.4 and... I was I wanted to release it as soon as 1.3 came came out, but obviously other things came around and I didn't. Let me I would not even do that. Um, so this world is very cool. It has the lunatic cultist people. It is very cool. I really really like it. I think that Agnes did a very good job. She did most of the aesthetics. She is very talented. And if she's watching this, good job. This is amazing. I added some stuff around here, but for the majority of it, it is by Agnes. I would say maybe 95% of this is Agnes, not me. <laughs> um, so the rest of it, there is a little world up, world up here where NPCs were. But of course, Builder's Workshop made them go other go some, somewhere different. Um, so yeah, this is my world. As you can see, we've only done half of these. We've done all the ones to the left, but we haven't done the ones to the right. 
That is because there are so many worlds in this that I don't think I have enough time in this video to show off. I know that your attention span is probably, uh, you know, gone by now. So, if you guys want to check out this world, stay tuned for my app, Terraria Manager. It is a hub for Terraria worlds and players, and I do plan on releasing it soon. If you haven't heard about this already, there is a video I uploaded a, a while ago that talks about it. I'll make sure I'll link it in the description as well as popping up right now. Um, yeah. If you guys want this world, stay tuned for Terraria Manager. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like button with your nose like this. And subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.